Hi friends, Jackie Ballhays from Clomp and Stampers. I have another quick and easy card to share with you and it really incorporates two of my favorite things. One, designer series paper and two, fun folds. You guys have loved the designer series paper cards I share when we kind of let the paper do most of the work and you love the quick and easy fun folds. So what's better than to put the two of them together? So I'm going to share with you my fun fold with this designer series paper. And I also have, let's see, 11 and 11 is 22, I guess 21 other cards to share with you. It's actually a one sheet wonder that I made all the cards from. I'm gonna just share this one with you today, but then I'm gonna share all the other cards. I have two sets of them, 11 from one sheet of 12 by 12 and 11 from a different sheet of 12 by 12. And so I'm gonna show them to you and then I'm also gonna show you how you can get the tutorial if you would like it to be able to make all 11 cards from one sheet of designer series paper. So without further ado, let's go ahead, flip this camera down and let me show you the fun fold and, and show you how to make it. Hold on a second. Here's the card we're gonna make today. And I said, it's a simple fun fold. You can see how that opens up. But first I wanna share with you this beautiful country club designer series paper that I'm using. Now I know everybody struggles with masculine cards. This paper is perfect for masculine cards. Now I know a lot of people flip through the catalog and they've seen this side of the paper. You know, we look at this paper and we think golf, okay? And we see all the fun golfing prints. And I've also had several people say to me, I don't know any golfers, my family doesn't golf, so this paper's not for me. But look what happens when you look at the back side of all of these papers. We've got great argyles and plaids. This is perfect for all those masculine cards that we struggle with. So that's what we're gonna use today. We're gonna use one of the argyle ones. Now our stamp set is probably not one you'd pick to make masculine cards and go with that paper. And it's called Seriously the Best. Now this is a stamp set actually designed to go with this card kit that I've shared with you. Now the stamp set on its own is to die for. I love. Now the stamp set on its own is perfect for so many different cards. I love these big bold greetings that I think I'm always asking Stampin' Up for. So we're gonna use this greeting set with our country club paper to make some masculine cards. So let me set this aside and let's get started on the card. Now for this fun fold, we're using a regular size card base, like I like to call it. Five and a half by eight and a, or five and a half by eight and a half. Now typically we would just fold it in half. But what I'm going to do is actually score it at one and a quarter. So we'll come out here to one and a quarter. Let's make sure we use the scoring blade. It's the light gray one. And then as long as I've got it here, I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter as well. So we'll get nice folds on there. And that's all the scoring we need to do. And then I still like to use my bone folder when I score. And we're gonna go ahead, fold it in half, use that bone folder. That just gives you that nice crisp fold on there. And then this piece is gonna fold back. So not a huge, um, fun fold, I guess I would call it. You know, there's not a lot to it, but I think anytime you just take, rather than a card, fold it in half like that, and you do just something a little different, it really adds a wow to your card. Now I have two pieces of designer series paper. They're five and a half by one inch. Now I told you earlier, this is actually part of a one sheet wonder where I take a 12 by 12 piece and I cut it all up and make 11 cards out of it. So these are just two of the pieces and I'll show you the pattern for that 12 by, or that one sheet wonder in just a second. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna make all 11 cards, goodness, that would take us forever on a video. So I really wanted to just feature this one fun fold and let you know where my strips came from. Now, if you weren't doing the one sheet wonder, all you need to do is grab your favorite designer series paper and cut two pieces that are one by five and a half. Now, don't even worry about remembering those measurements because over on my blog, I will have, I'll have the measurements, I'll have the, the cutting scoring measurements and um, pictures of this card so that you can still make this card whether or not you have the tutorial for my one sheet wonder. So there we go with that. Now our greeting, like I said, let's bring in our scrap paper here and our stamp. Um, and we are using the Hello Friend 
And I just have a scrap of Whisper White. So we're using Poppy Parade, one of the colors in our paper. I thought that goes really nice with that green. You know, even though it's masculine, I like that it's kind of bright. You know, I like a little bit of brightness once in a while too. So we'll go ahead and punch that out with a circle punch. You could also use a circle die. On this one, I use the stitch circle die. And then where's our trusty dimensionals? Now this is going to actually go on this flap. And I need to be careful when I put these dimensionals because we don't want on this side or that side, it's you know sticking down. So make sure when you flip it over, you know where the middle is. Just put those in the middle. So we'll go ahead and that I'm gonna show you a fun baker's twine or yeah, baker's twine. Goodness, my fingers aren't working. I can't get the dimensional backing off of that one. Why is that so sticky on there? I think what happened, it flipped off and then it flipped to the other side that doesn't come off good. So we'll just leave it there, stick another one on. Okay, stick that in the middle like so. Now, you know, just because it's masculine doesn't mean we can't have bows on it. So there's this fun collection of Baker's Twine that is part of that country club suite. And I found, this is the thicker Baker's Twine, and I'm not super fond of it, to be honest. It's a little bit too thick for me to tie a bow. So what I like to do is take pieces of it, and I just have a piece of the red here, and I'll use my piercing tool, um, whether you have the, the old piercing tool that we used to sell, or maybe you have the take your pick tool, um, but use that piercing end. And you can just go ahead, um, if it's long, you gotta kinda mess with it until you get it separated. But I will pull out just a couple strands of it. So now it's more the thickness of like our white or our linen thread that I like to use. And then I, so I have a piece of the green and the red. So I'm just gonna double them up and make a bow like so. So now it ties nice. I could never ever do this with, um, if I use just, let's get, I like to have different sizes here. If I was using the Baker's Twine, or yeah, Baker's Twine as thick as it is. So get that how you want it. And then you can use your scissors to snip off the ends. And then we'll use a glue dot. Best way to tie, add these little bows is a glue dot. I try to fold it in half a little bit first. That way it's not sticking out. And we're gonna go ahead and we'll just stick that, oops, right there. So that just adds that nice little touch to a, a very simple card. Okay, our card's gonna open like that. We need a piece of white for in the side. So I have, it's two and three quarters by five and a half. So we'll go ahead and adhere that down and then I am done with this card. And then I can show you the other 10 designs that come out of this one sheet wonder. Okay, there we go. So there is a fun fold. Um, here is this one. I did them the same way. Here I use white baker's twine and I did stamp, I miss you a lot on the inside. And notice here I use the two different sides of the paper. So I did use the golfing side and then this strip, I just flipped it over and got the plaid. Um, this one I wanted to go totally non-golfing. So there is that card. Now, if you don't understand what a one-sheet wonder is, it's kind of a term that's been around for eons. I can remember designing these back probably 23, 24 years ago when I first started stamping. When we started, we would take like a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and we would stamp it. It was way before the pretty paper. And so we'd stamp it randomly and then we'd cut it up and make lots of cards from it. Well, we've come a long way and I think our cards have gotten a little bit nicer with the one sheet wonder. But this one here, this takes a 12 by 12 and it cuts it into quite a few pieces enough to make 11 cards. Now I worked on this tutorial with a friend of mine and so we both kind of designed some cards and played around to tweak the cards exactly how we have it. And I actually have the full tutorial available for sale in my tutorial store over on my website. There'll be a link down in the description. Um, but today's video really was to teach you how to make this card, which you can do with or without the tutorial. So we have that one. Now here are the other 10 cards that all came out of that one piece of designer series paper. And I used just colors of cardstock that were in that and that same greeting set. So like I said, great for those big bold ones. Um, 
So here we just flip the paper. We have different sides of the paper. Now I will also have pictures of all of these cards for you over on the website. I'm not gonna give you all the measurements of all of them because that's all in the tutorial. But if you'd like to just look at them and, and try to recreate them, you're welcome to do that. But if you like the written tutorial, you'll be able to purchase that over there as well. So here we have four, five, six. This one is very similar to the one I showed you, but we kind of adhered that flap down. Okay, but again, we got lots of little strips of that cardstock going. This one was a lot of fun. Um, this one actually cut out the center of it and the center's over here and then just layered up. But again, nothing to do with golf on a lot of these. So here's a fold I've shared with you before, um, but that worked perfect for that piece. And then this one here is another fun fold that I absolutely love. It has a belly band. I haven't used a belly band in a card in a long time. And this does get flat enough that you can mail it, but the card actually opens this way. So our opening's on the right, and then we have our place where we can write on the left here. So it kind of folds up like so. And this is made out of a regular size piece of cardstock. So you, sometimes with you know multiple folds like that, you need 12 by 12, but it's not. So there are those cards. Now let me show you a whole nother set that I made. These cards seriously go together so quick and easy. Once you've cut the designer series paper and your cardstock, you can just create away. So here we're using a piece of the Tropical Oasis paper on this one. So here we go again with that right hand fold and then our belly band like so. Now with the tutorial, I'll also have a short video that will show you how to score for the fun folds. So here, this one, let's see, where's our frame one? It's, there we go. I did the same thing here. So there's our frame and we moved the inside piece over there so we could get two cards out of that one four by five and a quarter piece. Here is the one where our little flap is um, adhered back. And then here's one like the card that I made for you today. So that opens like so. And then here's our two, let's see. There's our two diagonal ones. And these two are kind of the same. And then here's this other one that opens like so. Now, the instructions for all 11 of these um, for cutting your cardstock and everything is part of that tutorial as well. So. If you've never seen a one sheet wonder, now you kind of understand what it is. You start out by cutting it all. Now, oh, the colors are horrible on here. My printer is running out of ink. But this is what the tutorial looks like. It takes all 11 cards and it has all of the measurements. So you cut up that 12 by 12. Oh, horrible. Um, and then it will show you how to cut and score all the extra pieces that you need to put your card together. Now, One Sheet Wonders, this, this tutorial works awesome with any papers. Just grab the coordinate and colored card stock for your designer series paper, along with any stamps you wanna use, and you can make some quick and easy cards. So I hope you enjoyed today's project, um, which really was all about just teaching you a fun fold and using designer series paper. But I hope you enjoy this project and just seeing all the other ones as well. So again, the link will be down in the description of the video to take you over to my blog post. I will have pictures of all the ones made with the Country Club paper over there, as well as all the information for the tutorial if you're interested in purchasing that. And if you have any questions at all, make sure to get a hold of me. I'm here to help you with all your stamping needs. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.